Hey, happy Tuesday. It's Brandlyn Jones with Sage and Associates. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about down payment assistance. So I'm gonna try and break it down for you today um, as easy as possible and put a few bullet points in to talk about um, some of the main items with down payment assistance. Understand something that down payment assistance is actually what they consider designed for a first time home buyer. That means it's not for investors. Um, this is typically someone who has not owned a home in the last three years. Understand someone interested in making the decision to use down payment assistance program really needs to weigh out all their options. There really are a few other options. I mean, you could always go to a family member and ask them to gift you some funds or you can um, work with an experienced, awesome licensed realtor who has superior negotiating skills and they may be able to um, structure an offer for you that could potentially get the seller to contribute towards some of your closing costs. So those are a couple of alternative ways to save some money or divert you from leaning towards um, possibly having to use down payment assistance. So let's talk about the first step. The first step um, with down payment assistance is you absolutely have to get with a lender and get pre-approved. And understand something else. With down payment assistance, often referred to as DPA, that is assistance. Assistance. That means know the rules, number one. Number two, you're more likely going to still have to have some skin in the game, guys, meaning money of your own. Okay? And the other thing is you're going to want to do... Um, all your research because there's additional paperwork that's typically required and as well as you'll be required to attend a buyer education class. So getting through all that, let's talk about some other points. Um, you know, DPA is designed to give you, the buyer, money towards the obvious down payment, sometimes towards closing costs. Um, after you've lived in the home for a set amount of time, the money may be forgiven. Again, this is all about education educating yourself about the program. There's a lot of different down payment assistance programs out there. So this is where it comes into play and this makes the money appear to be free because they're actually going to forgive you of this debt if you stay in the home for X amount of time. Typically, I've seen um, some of the down payment assistance programs uh, recently, uh, the requirement is three years and during that three year time, um, you also cannot just go and take the loan and the down payment assistance and refinance. So again, it's all about educating yourself. Again, you need a strong lender that's partnering with you that understands um, all the rules, the regulations, and the bits and pieces of the program. Some of the other things that you wanted to take into consideration is uh, sometimes these loans can take longer to close. Um, that is a deterrent. Um, a seller will look at that and um, may be cautious. I've heard it in the past when we're working with um, a listing and our sellers um, have looked at offers with down payment assistance program and it does deter them from um, at times wanting to uh, move on to another offer if they have a multiple offer situation. Um, some sellers, uh, what I'm getting to is some sellers consider this lower in the pecking order. Obviously, if they get a cash offer, um, they're going to most likely go with that first and then there's conventional FHA, VA, um, there's a pecking order when you are a seller, especially when you um, have multiple counters. The other, the biggest thing that I've seen that people don't realize is the interest rate. Interest rates are at an all-time low right now. I'm not sure why anybody would not work towards trying to make that purchase and buy their first home. Um, rent is ridiculous and I don't see rent going down, but do the math. Interest rates are low and I have seen um, down payment assistance programs as high as over 6%. 6% interest rate over the course of the loan or for at least three years if you're lucky. That's a lot of extra money. So you need to understand the rules. I cannot stress enough how important it is to educate yourself, work with a licensed realtor and uh, become the best friend to your lender. The lender is going to be uh, the person that's going to know all the rules and they should be fabulous communicators during all this process. So my name is Brandilyn Jones with Sage and Associates over at Realty One Group. We would love to earn your business and if you have any questions or any comments or just want to reach out to me and talk, my number is 623-206-0439.
and I hope you are having a wonderful day. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.